Actually, other than locking up my machine once, it did pretty good. You didn't see it. Every now and then it'll say, can't delete that. Oh, yeah. Cut that part out. Yeah, we can just, just edit that out. Right? <laughs> yeah. He's like, nah, it's too much work. Gary, questions? I love this stuff, and they're not computer. <laughs> it is pretty cool. Oh, and that blog entry I meant sure if you just if you just Google this guy basically just runs the That's what I meant to show you. This thing is actually a really super five minute you know, it basically reviews some of the stuff I said in the presentation and then it says here's how you how here's how you install through UPL. So if you have a CentOS six box, you can do this. And then you can just run this and it'll pull it'll pull down a CentOS four and it's right. Five and six from from the registry. Same with this. Know, if you just follow every command in here, which is kind of like a little tutorial, it'll yeah, pull down the four, five, and six <laughs> images, and so we will have all four. Oh, all three. That's right. Now, does this only run on Red Hat oh, and uh, No, no. In fact, it was originally written on Ubuntu. Yo, I got something going on. No, it was originally written on Ubuntu. We just saw it like that. Oh, like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I think it's in Fedora. If it's in the EPL, I'm sure it's in Fedora. It's usually, like, I noticed that in general, they, the same guys manage them to some extent, the same volunteers. So you'll see stuff that gets into Fedora 20 will go to the EPL, and you're like, yeah, okay, sweet. Because I use REL because I don't want to fart around Fedora, but I like getting some of the newer stuff. Yeah, I would if I if I didn't have all kind of stuff already running on this guy. Like, it does open VPN stuff back to my to my other to my house and to my other. Computers and there's all this stuff that's all connected together, and it's like the VMs on here run and they can all ping each other. So like I have magical, I like like this. I have these. Well, now my VMs are dead because <laughs> I decided to lock up. They were just paused. So like I have these VMs on here, and like this guy, like now this guy's on, it automatically VPN, and I can ping all the other virtual machines that are at my house, which it goes through. We have a I have a server hosted in my buddy's data center, and then you know it's like the hub, and these guys are all the spokes and. Um, you know, it can ping. It can ping through there over to my house, and it looks like we're on the same network. Yeah. So it's like so nice, all that stuff, because they're all rel six. So I don't want to have like Fedora on my desktop. I have to figure out how to do it a totally different way to do all the passing through and everything. <laughs> just too much for me. I'm a system at heart. Like, this kind of work. I think during the early development of Docker, there was a, a very hard dependency on one of the Linux kernel versions. Like you had to be great at three something. Yeah, because the AUFS because stuff. The yeah. The AUFS um, stuff was very yeah, stinky. I, th I think they they had some uh, like shim that you could use. For older, like, I can't you could do it in a directory too. That's some directory based yeah. way of doing it. There's some funky way of doing it. So you mentioned it uses uh, a bridge. Yeah, can you do just dump network connectivity? VRCTL with a show. It's just a Docker bridge. Oh, by the way, here, watch this bad. Is that email? Akron. That's that VM I just fired up. So I can ping like. My my blog, that's my blog, which is running out at, at that guy's running out at, uh, at what's the place? Oh my God, why is this crazy? Linode, it's running at Linode. That's running at Linode, and then like you know it's going like that guy VPNs into that you know my buddy's data center here in Akron, and then my house does the same thing, and then this laptop does the same thing. So all of them can talk to each other, including all the VMs on them. So all the VMs can see each other, so it's awesome. Like, I can ping the underlying hardware too, so I can ping like Keith, which is like the physical, or uh, I can ping uh, Kirk, which is a physical box in my house. So I can, you see it's all in the 192.162, and it all looks like it's part of the same network. So it's so nice to have this, because I can SH into rough five VMs I have at the house, and I'm running them on you know four core i5s in my basement, and I have access to all this hardware without having to fart around. It's my own little lab, you know. So when I'm on the road, I need to be able to test crap quickly, and I don't want to run them all locally on here. So if I reuse Fedora, then I have to figure out how to deal with open VPN connections and the way I pass through and do all the crap in KVM. Because actually, I have if you look, VR, if you do, I have special bridges. I'm really anal, so <laughs> so I have vBridge zero, one, two, and three. And then if you look here, watch this. I have you guys can see you can see fierce organization right there. This is what my lab environment is. Like, I don't know, so yes, now he was on there. I think Jane. So, did you want to bring your 
Okay. So that's what layer records. That's physical layer. That's layer two. Oh, is that the camera? So layer one, that's what it looks like. It's all wired together. And then layer two, each each location has this. So all the underlying command control box at each place, like the, the hypervisors have this. And then the, in this top, that's what it looks like. So layer two, the one say four networks at at uh, my friend's data center, 122 is on my laptop, 126 is at Linode, 128 is at my house. So, and then the backbone network is 120. Champions. So that's those two VPN networks at the 120. And I have drawings of my network because I'm that angle. How do you like Do you know that? Come on, you know what those names are. Keith, Lance, form, arms, and legs. But there was, no, wait, you missed the whole thing. There's no Voltron, no. No, there's no princess. I put Sven in there. Why? Sven, I, I'm talking about a different generation. Look. Bam, Sven is a badass. He was in black, and his name was Sven. You remember that? Does anybody else remember this? The return I think anyone's either too old or too young. Well, is this from RoboTran? No, oh, this is Voltron, dude. It's still there. Yeah, but I can find watch it now. I can never tell. I remember it. It's like, if you watch it, I can't. I thought Jan Joe was amazing, but now I just.